stem cells open a new hope for the treatment of AIDS. For many years, AIDS has claimed the lives of many people around the world. But are we finally on the cusp of a new scientific discovery that may make it a curable disease? Recently, a woman has fully recovered from AIDS, after undergoing stem cell therapy. Here are the details. WhatsApp and tweet stem cells open a new hope in the treatment of AIDS. In a precedent that is the first of its kind, a woman has recently recovered fully from AIDS. After the patient underwent a stem cell treatment, which is a rare and dangerous treatment at the same time, a treatment that may not only fight AIDS, but may also help fight cancer. The patient, who was called the New York patient, had undergone the aforementioned treatment four years ago, with the aim of resisting cancer and AIDS in her body. She had AIDS months ago, but the results recently showed that her body had fully recovered from the virus. To verify the durability of the results, the patient was examined a year after she stopped receiving AIDS treatments, only to note that the virus had not reactivated in her body. This case of recovery comes to become the fourth case of full recovery from AIDS around the world, as three cases of recovery from AIDS were recorded for men previously. But at the same time this case is the first case of recovery for a female. And scientists are currently following two cases of two women who seem to be on the verge of defeating AIDS by natural methods. Dot. Details of the new treatment. The treatment that the woman underwent is a unique, uncommon and dangerous treatment. First, scientists are looking for a donor whose body contains rare genetic mutations capable of resisting the AIDS virus, but the people whose bodies contain such a mutation are a small group of people, and most of them live in areas northern Europe. After finding the donor, the patient undergoes a medical procedure known scientifically as haploidentical cord transplantation, during which a mixture of blood cells taken from the umbilical cord is transferred with bone marrow taken from the donor's body. Cord blood cells fight cancer, while bone marrow cells provide stem cells for the patient's body. This particular combination may enhance treatment efficacy since adults' bodies do not respond as efficiently to cord blood treatments as children's. The new treatment, promising but dangerous, because of its high risk, which may reach death, experts often will not recommend this treatment to anyone with AIDS whose condition is under control, but researchers can recommend it to cancer patients whose disease may cause their condition to deteriorate in a way that may lead to inevitable death if the patient does not receive intervention urgent medical care. But this treatment could pave the way for new treatments that can be approved for AIDS. And this is what the researchers hope.